hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Look, I got a leather box. Right, okay, well, what's inside this box? Well, it's called an Escute or e scoot Natuna Plus E. So let's get it out of the box. Let's have a look at the stuff that's in the box and let's put it together and then get the bike by here. So once you've got everything out of the box and all the foam protective packaging off everything, well, I've got everything off except the handlebars at the moment. I'm keeping them protected. Um, you've got the wheel here, which is separate. The steering stem will be facing backwards. Uh, you've got to undo these here and this, turn around the right way, around that way. Um, and obviously put everything right there. Um, then you've got the seat, which is, that was wrapped up as well. You've got the front and rear mud guards. And then you've got this other box here. So we'll open that box up and I expect inside that box is the pedals, the charger and the front axle lay for that wheel lay. So let's open that box. Okay then, so in the box, we've got the instructions there, look. We've got a couple of cable ties there. We've got pedals. We've got, that looks like a tool kit. We'll open that now in a minute. We've got the front axle there, look, there. There's the front axle. So look at that there. Then we've got the side stander still wrapped up. We've got the rear reflector, a couple more cable ties couple of bolts there and then the charger will be in that box there okay so I've opened up the toolkit and it does say toolkit written on it <laughs> uh, you've got a couple of spanners a couple of these uh, allen keys and a little screwdriver So here it is, all put together. Now, I think, personally myself, I think this is a nice looking bike. It is a nice looking bike, my opinion. Um, and looking at the quality of the bike, the welds, the welds look exceptional. They look very, very good. I do like a nice weld on a bike, and this bike look like, looks like it's put together really, really well. Now, what have we got then? Let's have a look around the bike and see what we got. So looking down here at the wheels, 27 and a half inch wheels, with 2.1 inch tires we got 160 millimeter discs and cable operated brakes okay then so this is what it looks like with me sitting on the bike i'm 5 foot 10 178 centimeters or 1.78 meters now if i put my arms forward like this hold on to the handlebars you can see i'm leaning forward slightly but it's still in an uncomfortable position i think the seat is where i'd have it it is more of adjustment on it i've got it quite low at the moment it, it does go a bit higher my foot is almost flat to the floor and this is the sort of position I'd have it at my height looking up here on the handlebars you've got your grips which are quite nice they feel quite comfy you've got your seven speed Shimano then you've got your color LCD display you've got your buttons for plus and minus light on the side and the on off button is down by there then you've got your information button there then you've got your little bell that you go ding ding <laughs> hey that's quite nice that is nice bell and you got your brakes obviously so there we go and if you go plus it has got five levels of pedal assist now you might be thinking to yourself where's the thumb throttle now on the website they do the thumb throttle separate on the website they do show a thumb throttle that you can buy separately for this bike um, so if you go and take a look on the website you'll see I'm not quite sure what the price is I think it was around about 20 something pounds for the throttle for this bike um, so there we go on the website you can buy it so the bike does come with an integrated headlight it hasn't got no rear lights it does come with a reflector um, so if I hold there's a, there's a button on the side of here so if I press that like so there we go the headlight is on press the button again headlight is off now I haven't taken the battery out of this bike yet so let's just see how easy it is I'm assuming you put the key in like so like that turn that like that pull that up like there and there we go easy peasy it is nice because it's on the top so it's easy to take out now on the battery here 
it says on the battery is 36 volts 14.5 amp hours and 522 watt hours so it's, it's a good battery it's a good size battery it does feel like it's got a bit of weight to it um, so you should get a good range out of the 14.5 amp hours now on the battery here on this side you've got DC in to charge the battery there you've got at the top here if you hold that in like that it gives you a light sort of a charge indicator then over this side here there's another thing to take off and that's your on and off button now let's see how easy it is to put back in so I'll just drop in and like this like so like that give it a little bit of a push click it in like that take the key out easy peasy hey all right then so there we go that's a quick look around the bike let's get out on the open road and talk more about some of the features on this bike now here we are I'm out on the e-scoot e-bike so let's get up this hill by here now this bike has got it hasn't got cadence sensing it has actually got a torque sensor so what we'll do I'll go down by here cross the roundabout up the mountain and then we'll see what it's like on a hill so let's get going now usually by here I do a speed test um, well I'll do one anyway there's no throttle because this is a you know 100% legal e-bike in the UK so let's get to the gear 7 and then we'll see what it's like I'll give it some welly with the old legs and uh, we're on 16.5 I can probably go a bit faster if I pedal a bit harder like 17 <laughs> go a bit faster come on let's go let's see if we can get to 18 18 miles per hour and then we're stuck playing the traffic lights now so let's get back down the lower gears there we go right okay we'll do the hill test so the hill test is coming up on my right in a minute so we'll get to by there looks like it says road closed ahead by there so it's all going on today isn't it we've got closed roads and all sorts of things well it must be open now um right let's go up this way here check for no cars okay okay now i'm in gear three I'm in pedal assist level five and uh, I probably have to go down a few gears by here but it's a torque sensor so if I put it in a lower gear it'll give me less assistance because I'm push putting less torque on the pedals if that makes sense whereas with a cadence sensor it's just if you move your legs around a bit it'll give you the full power so I'm expecting to put a little bit of work in going up this hill I'm still in third gear we're not on the steepest part yet so I think I'll go into gear two now because I'm not the fittest person in the world <laughs> um, but so far so good we'll see what it's like when we get to the steeper bit by here now so I'm coming up towards the uh, the bridge the tunnel I should say is a tunnel for me is a bridge for the people who walk across the top of it <laughs> right then so it's a bit like if I slow down and then push more on you you get more power if you know what I mean if you've driven a bike with torque sensing you know exactly what I mean so with a torque sensor you actually get a little bit more of a workout so we're gonna go through the tunnel let's put the light on oh the lights on the side isn't it I, I was I thought the light was somewhere else then I'll put the light on on the way back down on some bikes you hold the plus button down but on this one there's a button on the side right okay then so we come into the hillier part I'm in gear two and I am feeling it in my legs I'm feeling in my legs I've actually got to do a little bit of work it is making it easier but it's not as easy as a cadence sensor so here we go so we're on the steeper part of the hill now so I'm gonna put it in the first gear but they like that and there we go that's not too bad that's not too bad not too bad in first gear so like I said it's progressive it's the torque sensor is coming in progressively 
if I slow down, obviously I put more torque then on the crank, it gives me more power. When I speed up, it gives me less power. Yeah, so there we go, I pushed. Well, if I give it a push like that, it, you can feel it comes in. But this is giving me a bit of a workout. It's actually, uh, it'll get me a bit fit. <laughs> uh, so I'm not, uh, if you've seen my videos, you've seen me do this hill at least 20 times if you've seen all my videos. And uh, I'm gonna say this is um, probably, is in is in one of the one of the groups of being the hardest to pedal up the hill. Let's stop by and have a look at the bike. Okay, so I've made it up to here now. I'm by the cattle grid. If you see my other videos, I go up to the cattle grid, have a look at the bike, show you the hill. I have come up a hill. It doesn't show very well on camera, but it is a steep hill. And then and I end up going up the rest of the hill up there. So with that being said. I come up the hill with a cadence sensor. I'll just check if the motor's warm at all. And it's cold. It's nice and cold, that motor is. So it doesn't go warm at all coming up that hill. Um, now the bike, it, in e-bike terms, the bike is quite light and it is quite easy to pedal. So even though the torque sensor isn't giving you all the power all at once, it still is relatively easy coming up a hill like I said it won't give you the whole amount of power but it's still giving you a decent amount of power to get up the hill and I suppose with a torque sensor it's got quite a big battery for a 36 volt I think it's 14 point amp hours with a torque sensor you're probably going to get uh, the range is going to be I, I think the range is going to be very very good on this bike with a 36 volt 14.5 amp hour uh, a light bike with relatively thin wheels, tyres, um, it'll have a, a low rolling resistance, so I expect this bike to do quite long distances on a full charge. Anyway, let's get, let's go up there. Right, okay, so I'm on a hill now, so let's see what's like pulling off with the torque sensor, so I'll give it a little bit of a push, oh, and it, it gives you the power straight away, it gives you the, like I said, when you first uh, push off, it gives you more of the power because you're pushing hard on the on the pedals so the torque sensor it, it feels it and as you get going it eases back off so pulling off on a hill is nice now i'll get to the top of this hill and then we'll try the brakes the 160 millimeters they're cable operated uh they should sh stop you i think i can do something behind me there's a car there so i'll be pulling over to the side so here we go again Pulling off on the hill with the old torque sensor. And there we go. Yeah, easy. That's nice. So what was I saying? Yeah, so it's cable operated, uh, cable operated brakes. 160 millimeter discs. Uh, usually when I do a brake test, which isn't scientific, uh, the back wheel usually locks up. So I'll try and put my weight back a little bit further. It doesn't really matter. If I put my weight back, it's still the back wheel that skids. So you can only stop as quick as you can stop, if that makes any sense. But anyway, let's get up there. Right, okay, almost to the top of the hill. Now, it's gonna flatten out by here, so I'll jump off the bike when it flattens out by here, and we'll try the holding the minus button in, and we'll see what the walk function, how it's set, how fast it goes. I do like a walk function that is around about two and a half miles per hour maybe something like that if it goes three or four miles per hour it's too fast but anyway it's flattened out by you now so let's have a look let's get off and all you do is hold the minus button down like so give it a couple of seconds and we'll have a look oh look at that there what's that 2.8 2.8 that's not bad at all 2.7 2.8 we're still going up a slight hill it's not um it's not flat, we're still going up a hill. Uh, what if we go up a bigger hill? Let me just pull back and see if it still pulls you up. It does pull you up the hill a little bit, so it'll give you some assistance if you walk it. So there we go, 2.6, 2.7 miles per hour, which is about perfect. That's a nice walking pace. So I'll get to the top of this hill now, up where that 
person's jogging bray, that woman's jogging up bray. How she jogged up, I hell I don't know. She was huffing and puffing as she came past me. <laughs> but you've got to be pretty fit to be able to jog up this hill. Um, we'll get to the top of there, she's going to come back down, I think. She's jogging on the spot and she's coming back down. Um, we'll get to the top, we'll come back down, we'll try the brakes and see what happens. Anyway, let's jump back on the bike. Like so. Oh, hey! And we'll go up here. And then we'll turn around at the top. And then we'll see what it's like. And there we are, she's coming back down again now. Very fit. Right, okay, I've made it to the top of the hill, as you can see here. Well, the hills are a bit higher there, but you can't get up there. There's no road up to the top of that mountain there. So, what am I going to do now? Uh, we're going to go down here, pull the brakes, non scientific, uh, try not to fall off. The road is dry, so it should be fine. I did do this test, brake test, a few weeks ago on a wet road, and I nearly came a cropper. Not on this bike, on another bike. Um, but we'll try it out now. And talking of wet roads, it's been raining for days and days and days. This is the first nice day in ages. So, anyway. Let's stop waffling. Let's jump on the bike. I'll tell you what, I'll put the camera a bit higher so you can have a bit more of an idea of what's going on. And I'll try not to pull a funny face when I pull the brakes. <laughs> Let me just make this camera go a little bit higher. Right, okay then, here we go. Brake test coming up. Let's get down here, get a bit of speed up. Sort of go to the sort of legal limit, sort of 15 miles per hour. And then wheels come, one, two, three, stop. There we go. Now, i got to say, and I'm going to be completely honest there, I pulled the brakes, I don't know if you can see that, I pulled the brakes really hard there, and really hard there, and they didn't lock up, so I can't really tell where I stopped. Um, I think I might try that again, because for some reason it didn't, didn't um, nothing locked up. So we'll try it again. I mean, locking up is a good thing in a way. Not locking up is a good thing, but we'll try that again. We'll try it one more time. Now, I will say as well, brakes do need to bed in. Um, so we'll try one more time, just to see. And I'll pull it as hard as I can. <laughs> so let's turn around again. So we're going back up the hill again, back to where we were. And we'll try one more time. And I'll, I'll pull as hard as I can. Now, like I said, with cable brakes, you have got to pull the brakes harder than with hydraulic brakes. But it did stop me. I'm not saying it did stop me pretty quick, but I can't, if it doesn't skid, I can't really tell. So let's get up, up to the speed again. There we go. Up, up, just to pass 50 miles an hour. One, two, three. Let's go. Ah, oh, there we go. So there we go. I pulled the brakes a little bit harder. And. Let's put the side stand down, like that. Don't fall over bike. And then we'll walk up here, like so. I think I was doing about 17 miles per hour then, or something like that. I think, but there. So there's the bike, but there. I was doing about 17 miles per hour. I pulled the brakes as hard as I could. And that's where it stopped. So there we go. Make of that what you will. I think that's a not a bad stop in distance. Um, I think it's pretty good actually, but you have got to pull the brakes quite hard. Anyway, let's get down the hill now. We'll see what the rolling resistance is. Um, I'll just let the bike roll down the hill. Uh, usually a bike gets about 30 miles per hour down here. We'll see. We'll have a look. Put the side stand up. Jump on the bike. It's quite easy to get on this bike. Is. It's quite light as well. And being more like a bike bike with 27.5 inch wheels and tyres, it is quite nimble, you know, it's not, I can, you know, it does feel quite easy to manoeuvre the bike. So I, I'm not, there's no pedal assist going on here, I'm just, it's just, just gravity, I'm going down a hill, 22 miles per hour, 25, I can feel the wind hitting me now, the wind's sort of holding me back, 28. 30, I think about 30 would be about it because the wind is actually holding back, so I duck down a bit. No, from 30 is about as fast as they can go. 30.4 miles per hour. 31 and a half, oh it's a squirrel. Oh, I had to stop for a squirrel. I don't want to be hurting any squirrels. Anyway, let's get down 
the rest of this hill by here and trying the bike out a little bit more. So if you are interested in this e-bike, the e-scoot, then I'll put all the links down in the description below. So go and check it out. Right, okay, we're coming back to the tunnel. So let's put the headlight on and it is the bottom button by here. So I'll just press this button. Let's get into the tunnel first. And then when I get in here now, it is quite dark in here. So I'll pop the headlight on like so. And this, look, this car's still coming to come through. Ah. I can't really test the headlights now because, uh, the... okay, ta. Okay, I don't know if you can see that there, look, there's the light there, look, pointing on the floor, like that. It's not too bad, actually. Here we are. It's quite, quite a good headlight. Right, let's turn back around again. Now, the controls are usually over by here. I've just moved them by there, uh, so I could put the camera mount by there because the camera mount prefers to be on a smaller part of the handlebars. So the, that is usually by there. I've just moved it because of that. Hey, hey. Now, I'll just pull over by here because there's something I want to say. Well, it's not very important, but what I wanted to say was the seat is very comfortable. <laughs> so the seat is really squishy at the back part here it's a decent width which i like and that is lovely and soft and comfy it is quite padded in the front bit as well there but i'm finding the seat to be a-okay so the seat is a thumbs up from me right let's get going okay then there you go that's the review of this e-scoot e-bike now if you did like this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and check the description below for all the links catch you in the next one hi -hoy.